so hey guys what's up welcome back to another flutter video and in this video i'll be showing you guys how you guys can uh implement the dark mode theme into your flutter application and also you you guys can change the themes at runtime and persist those changes across uh, multiple app restarts so as you guys can see i have this little switch over here on uh toggling which i can get uh, different types of uh, themes so right here and i can also persist them across multiple uh, app uh, restarts so yes uh, this is what uh, we'll be building today and i'll show you how you guys can implement it uh, with a package called uh, dynamic theme package so guys in this video we'll be using the dynamic theme package which is a flutter package and we'll be using uh, the current version which is 1.0.1 .1. and you guys can uh, check it out in the pub.dev website from which uh, uh, you guys can download various uh, flutter and dart uh, dependencies and also to include it in your file you guys have to first uh, put uh, it under the dependency section uh, of your pubspec.yml so you guys have to just copy it and paste it there and then you have to save the file and also if you guys I uh, want to find more about how this package is working then you guys can refer to this medium article written by the author itself and I'll put the link of uh, this too uh, in my description so that you guys can go and check it out. So guys uh, here we are back in our main.dart file and in here I have actually imported the uh, dynamic theme package. I have imported the dy dynamic theme.dart and also i uh, as soon as i import this i get this uh, dynamic team widget so if we uh, look at it into a bit deeper then we can see that it actually takes three parameters that is a uh, theme to widget builder then uh, theme uh, data uh, with brightness builder and a brightness so uh, these are actually coming from here which are type dev functions and as you guys can see we are we need to actually pass these three parameters and uh, the first one is the default widget builder which is actually going to return the material app and to build the theme of our app with the theme of our app and then we have the data which is uh, which is going to be the basic theme data and we also have the default brightness which is basically uh, the default uh, the 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 default theme of our app as soon as uh, some user just uh, install it or uses it for the first time the appearance which we want to give it to uh, our app so that's our default theme and uh, right here uh, inside the dynamic theme widget the first which we are going to pass is the default brightness so it would be just a uh, brightness dot light for me and you can actually pass any any uh, theme you want like a brightness dot dark so it basically depends but that is going to be your basic default uh, app uh, theme and also after that we need to pass on the data so this data with this data we we, we are actually going to pass on the brightness uh, as a parameter so that we can change it so I will just pass it as a parameter and then uh, what uh, we're going to do is create a function actually which will return a team data a team data which is actually a feature of uh, the flutter material package and also we get uh, inside it we get the primary swatch so the primary swatch and i'm just going to set it to like colors dot uh, teal and after that uh, we get the basic we get uh, the uh, brightness so for the brightness i'll just uh, leave it to the brightness so brightness will be just brightness which we'll be passing it as a parameter and then after this uh, we are actually going to need the theme the widget builder which will return our material app so here we are going to have our team a themed widget builder and this is going to return us the material app and i i have set the uh, check mode banner as false so that we, uh, we can see our uh, see our switches more clearly and there uh, we have the uh, my home page which is actually going to be a stateful widget and uh, yes so it is also going to return us a scaffold actually so we uh, we uh, we actually need uh, go, going to have a scaffold 
and then inside the scaffold we will be having an app bar and uh, so now inside this app bar we we are actually going to have our switch so as you guys can see we are actually going to have the switch inside our app bar so for the switch we basically have need to create a boolean value that is uh, whether the switch is on or not so is uh, switch I'm just creating a boolean value over here and initially I'll just uh, set it to false and as soon as we uh, hit the uh, toggle the switch it will be basically turn itself to to true so for that uh, we actually need to pass on a set statement method uh, as soon as we change the status of this switch so uh, what we need to do we actually need to pass it as an action so not here but inside our app bar so inside our app bar i'm just passing an action and this action the first one would be a switch so uh, we are going to actually pass a single action and and uh, for the value part i'll just uh put it to a switched and as soon as we change it then that so as soon as we change it we will actually uh call a function or the set state so set state and inside this set state we are actually going to have the value that is 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 switched and um the value would be set to the value the current value and yes so after that uh we actually need to um, make a function uh to act actually change this theme to light and dark and vice versa so uh so for that uh i'm just going to create a function and uh, we will actually create the function inside the 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 home page widget so that we get access to the context that the, the theme context and after that i'll just call it as a toggle team because it 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 is a dynamic team so it will be changing uh, depending on the switch we toggle and inside of it we first of all we will get uh we need access to our uh, team um the, the context of the team and then we need to set the brightness according to it so we will be using the di dynamic team dot off context and uh, we get a method called the set brightness method which actually will uh set a particular value to our brightness a parameter which we passed on our team data earlier so in inside this set brightness method i'll just put a simple conditional so basically it will check uh, if the theme is set to dark and if it is if it is set to dark then it will change it to light and then vice versa and uh yes so after that uh what we need to do we need to uh pass it on to our uh on changed uh attributes so right here uh with our switch i have this uh on changed attribute and i'll just pass uh, the 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 function that is the toggle uh, team and just put a semicolon and let's save it and as you guys can see i actually have uh this over here and it is basically working and for just uh, uh for the sake of some simplicity we'll just uh, give it a small body that is uh let's give a body so the body would be a column I'll pass a column and inside this column we're going to have some children Actually, we'll be using a, a, a simple text widget. So, text say hello. And actually, let's uh, put it in center. So, yeah, so, uh, so let's save it. Okay, here I put use the center widget to uh, wrap it in the center. So, uh, all right so now we have the text widget over here and i can actually change it and i can also add a floating action button so let us add a floating action button so that uh it looks a bit more good so floating just have a simple floating action button and we'll uh, actually have uh, the child all right so we have an add icon all right so in this video guys we have successfully implemented uh, the dark mode theme into our flutter app 
and i hope you found this video helpful and do share this video and also do like it if you found it helpful and do subscribe to this channel for more uh, videos related to flutter and also uh, web development so till then guys uh, stay tuned see you in the next video Thank <music> you.